All right, postseason baseball. Now let's set this lineup. Uh, we've got Inciate, Bo, Vlad Jr., BT, Jansen. Oh, ho, 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 we're so good. Hello? Uh, yes, Doctor, this is Aussie Villain. What's wrong? Oh, no, Inciate, what's happened? A broken finger. Well, can he still play? Not till next season. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to Season 3, Episode 9 of the Toronto Blue Jays. Today we're playing the LA Angels uh, in the first game of the ALDS, but we're going to have to do it without Ender in Siate as his fractured finger means season done. Four weeks he's out for. That is obviously the duration of the postseason, and that is a massive blow because he batted 340 leading off our lineup for us this season. Um... Yeah, it's going to be very, very difficult to replace him. So not the start to the postseason that we wanted. Um, but uh, yeah, here we are. You can see we did finish the season with 100 wins. To be honest, we weren't fantastic. We'll have a quick update of what's happened since last season, uh, last season, since last episode um, to finish off the season. Now, we did leave off back here in August, didn't we? Um, against Indy, I think it was, wasn't it? No, it was the first game of the LA Angels series, wasn't it? Uh, so we actually ended up winning one and losing one of the last of that series. So we lost the series overall, which was obviously disappointing. Uh, Mariners, we swept them, which was brilliant. Uh, game three, we won it in 11, and we won it with a walk-off home run uh, from Denny Jansen. So love to see uh, love to see that. That was good. Um, then we, I'll just rattle through this because it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, then we had a series against the Cleveland Indians. We won one of three against those. Game three, though... Uh, it was a Snell masterclass as he went eight innings, two earned runs, yes, but only off two hits. They were both home runs. So um, he was really, really good, and Hendrick closed out that one for us, which was good to see. Uh, so that was the Cleveland series. Then we played the Houston Astros. We swept them, uh, actually probably destroyed their season, to be fair. <laughs> uh, game one here, we actually had a, a walk-off home run from Rowdy Tellez. Um, so that won us that one, which was good to see. Uh, and then game three, this was where Inciate injured himself, uh, but Khalil Lee came off the bench to play uh, in place of him and hit his first career home run, um, which is excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, so I thought maybe Khalil Lee could be the answer to come in and step up for us uh, and take his spot, but that uh, was a bit of a false dawn, to be honest. He hasn't done that <laughs> <laughs> so we've looked for other options. Uh, we played the White Sox there, and we only won one of three against them. Uh, and then we finished the season off on a high with a 12th innings win against the Orioles, but ultimately we lost two of three against them as well. So what all that meant, here are the final standings for the year. It meant that we won 102 games, lost 60, obviously. We were the best team in baseball through the regular season by some margin as well. Uh, the next best were the LA uh, Dodgers, you can see there, with 96 wins. Um... So comfortably ahead of them. The way the playoffs are shaping up, if we go to the playoff tree, the Angels beat the Mariners. So we are facing the Angels. It's the Twins and the Astros in the other series. Uh, and it's the Dodgers and the Padres. The Padres knocked out the Diamondbacks in the wild card game. And it's the Cardinals and the Braves. Uh, so a few familiar faces on the National League side of things. Um, so yeah, let's hope that uh, we can we can overcome the Inciate injury and and get the job done. Now, a few things to catch you up on as well over the course of the regular season. We'll have a quick look at how everybody's stats wound up. Um, it was very, very difficult decision who should be our number one starter for the for the postseason, whether it's Pearson or Snell. We're going to stick with Pearson, but I think Snell's actually our informed guy. You can see he's, he's in a hot streak as well. Um, so this is our... Um, our playoff lineup as well. Duplantier is going to be the number four starter, though we won't use him that often. The reason I've done that, Patterson, A, is in a slump, and B, it's another left arm in the bullpen if he drops into the bullpen. So that's why we've done that. And the lineup side of things, um, you can see it there. Uh, McQuaid's back in after he had a bit of an injury, but he was always going to be back for the postseason. Um, yeah, and Khalil Lee is in for uh, for the injured in Seattle. But uh, yeah, it's not it's not ideal, obviously. Uh, one thing to draw attention to here is Matt Beatty, 99 RBIs for the season. Oh, so close to breaking that 100 mark, but just couldn't quite get there. Bo Bichette with 91 had a good year as well. Uh, Tellez, who of course had over 100 last season, 40 he racked up this regular season. So not fantastic from him. Uh, hopefully he's not going to prove to be a one-season wonder. But if we have a quick look at some records that were broken... 
And on the batting side of things, Vlad Jr. smashed the club record, batting 372 this season. And the Inciate came in fifth as well, so he's worth, definitely worth a mention. Uh, if we go down next, uh, the next record that Vlad broke uh, was slug percentage. Um, relatively, relatively good win there for him as well. So he held, holds that record now. Uh, if we keep going down to war, uh, he broke his own record there. So that is absolutely insane. Look at this. He is sixth all time already. Um, that is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so that is uh, excellent work there. Uh, and if we keep going down as I check my notes... Uh, the other record that was broken this season, not by Vlad, um, he fell just short on total bases, you can see there. Inciate was second all time in singles. Um, I'm not going to expand all of these up. Hopefully you guys can see okay, unless you're watching on a phone, in which case you'll probably struggle, and I apologize for that. Uh, you can see there, Vlad, fourth all time, his best season, or equal, equal last season in terms of home runs with 45. Didn't quite get there again on the uh, RBI record. He was down there in sixth this season, so... Fell off a little bit from last year. But Bo Bichette set a new club record with 70 stolen bases, um, which is an absolutely phenomenal number. Uh, and Hamilton, unfortunately, wasn't there to be seen this year. Uh, he did break the record for times court stealing, though. So that was uh, the, the batting side of things. If you go to the pitching side of things now, uh, there was a couple of records broken here as well by Pearson. Um, if we just quickly scroll down, you can see... Um, where do we want to go here? Strikeouts per nine innings pitched. Uh, da, 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 there we go. Uh, oh, it's here somewhere. Strikeouts per nine innings pitched. Uh, Pearson set the record there. Broke his own record. Snell was right up there as well. Uh, strikeouts. Snell actually went third all time. Um, so he broke Pearson's best season. Uh, and Pearson was there his sixth all time as well. So two excellent performances there for us. And the other one is what I think is opposition average. You can see Whip. Snell just a smidge off of uh, Pearson's record there. I think it's his opposition batting average, if I'm not mistaken. But Pearson and Snell went first and second in that uh, all time for the Blue Jays. So just excellent, excellent stuff all around. Um, all right, that's pretty much everything caught up on. Let's go and have a look at the lineups for game one. And this is it. Bo Bichette moves up to lead us off. He's a shortstop. Peraza uh, at second base. He is uh, batting second. It is Vlad Jr. Uh, batting third at third. It's Matt Beatty cleaning up at first. Uh, Garel Jr. bats five. He's in left field. It is the designated hitter, Reese McGuire, batting uh, six. Danny Jansen, the catcher, bats seven. Grishuk in right field, replacing Inciate. He bats eight. And Billy Hamilton in center field bats nine. Pearson takes the mound for us. We're up against Patrick Sandoval. Um, this season, his ERA was 4.2. His whip was 131. ERA plus of 115. A war of 1.2. So he's decent. We've already, we saw, didn't we, a couple of episodes ago, we got beaten by the Angels. Um, the top of their order is very, very strong. It's going to be a tight one. Let's hope we can get game one underway. And here we go. Welcome to Toronto for game one of the ALDS. If you're wondering why Will McQuaid isn't playing and Peraza is, we're up against a left-handed pitcher, so we've gone with the right-handed hitter. Um, when we go up against a right-handed pitcher, McQuaid will come back in. First pitch swing, and it drops in for a single. That is not the way we wanted this postseason to start, is it? Fletcher comes in now. He uh, is uh, yet to get a hit in this postseason in the wild card game. Pearson's going to obviously continue. Two and one's the count. They look to lay down a bunch. Straight back to Pearson. Unfortunately, we don't have a play at second. And that's one away. Mike Trout comes up to bat now. He is in a slump. What can Pearson do with him? He can sit him down. That's what he can do. There's two away. Hopefully, Pearson's going to get uh, get himself going. Otani, now he's that, he can pitch and play right field, can't he? He's a, just a general all-round superstar. Let's see what Pearson can do with him. Two and two's the count, and that's another strikeout, and Pearson gets through the first innings. Excellent stuff by Nate Pearson. Let's see what Bo Bichette can do to lead us off here. Come on, Bowie boy. Come on, mate, come on. Oh, Bo Bichette, has he led us off with a home run? He has! Bo Bichette! That's how you start the postseason. 434 feet over center field. And Bo Bichette gives us the lead. Amazing, amazing leadoff at bat. And it brings Peraza in now. Let's see what he can do. 2-1 and one is the count on him. 
prove your selection to me, mate. He grounds it down there, the third base. Can he beat it out? He cannot. Unlucky. Vlad Jr. comes in now for his first at-bat in the postseason. We saw him go missing a little bit last year. Particularly in the World Series. Let's hope he has a good postseason this time. And that's a decent start. It's a one-out single for Vlad. And let's see what Matt Beatty can do now. Coming in to clean up for us. 99 RBIs this regular season. He watches strike three go past that time though. And it's Gorel Jr. coming in now. He was a star in the postseason for us last year. He was MVP in the, both uh, the ALDS and the ALCS. But that's not the best start. But we do have a one-run lead thanks to Bo Bichette. Pearson now comes in to face Rendon. One and two is the count. Come on, Pearson. Sit him down, son. Oh, whack my knuckles off the desk. That <laughs> oh, but you've got, to, you've got to sacrifice for the team, don't you? Excellent stuff, Pearson. Apparently, I'm sitting too close to the desk. Santana comes in now, the designated hitter. What can Pearson do with him? First pitch swing. That is popped up. It should be a simple catch there for Bo. There it is, and that is two away. Upton now comes in to bat. There was, is that, was that, there was an Upton that played in the 90s or something, wasn't there? Was, I wonder if it's any relation. I'm sure you guys will know. But that's popped up. Another first pitch swing. Another first pitch pop up. And Hamilton makes a simple catch, and we're through two. Let's see what we can do in the bottom of the innings. There's Reese McGuire, designated hitter for this one. Let's see what he can do. One and two's the count. And he has dropped it in, has he? Yes, he has. Reese McGuire with the leadoff single. Denny Jansen now catching in this one. Let's see what he can do. One and two's the count. Sorry, two and one's the count. And he has cracked it into a double play. Couldn't have been any better for them if they tried. Well hit straight to shortstop. And it's Randall Grishuk in a slump. But we know he's dangerous. He tends to strike out or hit home runs. On this occasion, he strikes out. And that'll do it for the second. Still the one-run lead. And Nate Pearson now to face Salas. Two and two's the count on the leadoff man. And that is a ground ball to Vlad. Over to first, mate. There it is. And that is one away. Excellent stuff. Buster Posey, one of the great names of baseball, comes in the bat now. First pitch swing on Pearson. What can Nate do with him? Posey pops it up. Gorel Jr. should have a simple catch in left field. He does, and that is two away. And I'm loving these quick outs as well. 30 pitches uh, Pearson has thrown. And he's almost through the third innings. Two and two. Two out. No one on. That is going to drop in, is it? Yes, it is. It's a two-out single for Rengifu. And I'm almost positive I've nailed that pronunciation. Fletcher comes in. He is... Uh, he, did he walk last time up? I can't remember now. But anyway, that is... Another two-out single, and the runner goes to third. And Pearson, mate, you had two out with no one on. Let's not uh, throw this away. Mike Trout comes in to bat. He's 0 for 1 today. Two and two's the count. And Pearson, with the strikeout, ends the top of the third, and we still have that one-run lead. Billy Hamilton now to face Sandoval. Can he bunt himself aboard, I wonder? 0 and 1's the count. Come on, Billy. Billy Hamilton grounds at the shortstop, and that will be one away. Not the best throw, but good enough. Bo Bichette now, the home run hero last time up. What can he do second time around? Two and two's the count. And Bo Bichette pops it up into left field, and that will be two away. And it's going to be Peraza coming in with two out and no one on. Let's see what he can do. 0 for 1 today, of course. 1 and 1's the count. Peraza well hit to second base, and that will do it for the third. And it's still 1-0 to the Blue Jays. And it's going to be Pearson to face Otani, who is 0 for 1 today. 0-2 is the count sitting down, Nate. There it is, another strikeout for Pearson. Oh, he's stepping up, isn't he? Rendon comes in now. He's 0 for 1 as well. Another first pitch swing. We've seen so many first pitch swings today. And it's fantastic because they're getting out and it's keeping Pearson's pitch count well, well down. That is two away, and Santana, who's 0 for 1, comes in now to face Pearson. 1 and 2's the count. Come on, Nate. Sitting down, mate. Sitting down. That looked like a wonderful, wonderful pitch. And that is the end of the top of the fourth. Still 1-0. Can we extend the lead? Vlad Jr. comes in. He is 1 for 1 today. 0 and 2's the count. And Vlad kind of doesn't really know what he's doing and strikes out. Beatty, who's 0 for 1. 0 and 2's the count on him. Come on, Beatty. He has grounded it straight back to the pitcher, and that will be two away. 
And it's going to be Gorel Jr. coming in now. He's 0 for 1. Another 0 and 2 count. And Gorel Jr. swings at what looked to be a very good pitch as well. And, well, it's becoming a pitching duel here in Toronto, isn't it? Pearson to face Upton, who is 0 for 1. 1 and 1 is the count on the leadoff man. What can Pearson do with him? That is popped up. It should be a simple catch. And Peraza is there and makes it. And that is one away. Salas now, who is 0 for 1. He comes in to face Pearson. Another first pitch swing. That is a ground ball to Beau Bichette. Over to first, mate. There it is. Two away. Loving the quick innings. Buster Posey comes in. He's 0 for 1. 1 and 2 is the count. Two out. No one on. And that is a ground ball. Bo has it over to first. And that'll do it for the top of the fifth. Still, we lead 1-0. Reese Maguire, who's 1 for 1 today. What can he do? 2 and 0 is the count. Maguire hits it well into center field, but straight to him. And that is... One away. Danny Jansen, 0 for 1. Full count on Danny. Come on, Danny boy. He has hit it, popped it up. Center field will be there. It's Mike Trout, I think, isn't it? And that'll be two away. All right. It brings up Randall Grishuk in a slump. One and two is the count. And Randall Grishuk, sometimes he looks completely clueless. Other times he's trotting around the bases. It's really, really strange. Pearson now to face Ren Gifo who is two for two today, and the only person really to get anywhere near uh, Nate Pearson, but that's popped up. Hamilton should make a catch. He does, and that's one away. Brings up Fletcher, who is one for one. Three and O's the count is, uh, if we're going to get a walk here, we are. Pearson puts a man aboard. The first walk of the day, and it's Mike Trout, who's 0 for two. Full count, one out, runner at first. Oh, it's deep. It's deep. Grishuk's there. It stays in. And Grishuk makes the play. Keeps the runner at first. And it's Otani who is 0 for 2 now to face Pearson. Can we finish this? It's a first pitch swing. That is crushed. Absolutely crushed. 471 feet. And it's 2-1 to the LA Angels. And that's one of the biggest home runs I think we've seen absolutely crushed and just like that we find ourselves behind Rendon who's 0 for 2 Pearson pays full price for issuing a walk and he's issued another one and are we seeing the end of Pearson yes we are Espinosa comes in now he's going to face Carlos Santana and Ken Espinosa who we've seen give up a few home runs in the postseason but he gets a strikeout he's a more experienced player this season and he ends the innings but we suddenly find ourselves 2-1 down. Billy Hamilton to lead us off. He's 0-for-1 today. 2 and 0s the count. Can Billy get himself on base? He lays down a bunt. It's a very, very poor one. And you know you're in a slump when you can't even bunt properly. Bo Bichette, who's hit one home run already today. First pitch swing from Bo. That's, uh, that's poor. And oh, so's the throw. The throw's even worse. And Bo finds himself on base thanks to the error. Now, can we make them pay full price for their mistake? It's Peraza who's 0 for 2 today. 1 and 1's the count. Bo looks to steal. Bo gets there. He has been a stealing machine this season. And he's in scoring position now for Peraza. Can he drive in the run? 1 and 2's the count. Peraza pops it up. And it's going to be up to Vlad Jr. with 2 out. The tying run at 2nd. Can Vlad step up here for us? 3 and 0's the count. Is it going to be a walk? It is. We have 2 on. A walk and an error. Can Matt Beatty drive in this run for us? Make it 100 for the year, mate. He's 0-2 today. Beatty has popped it up. And we go to the seventh. One run down. Espinosa to continue to Upton. Upton is 0-2. 2-2 for 2. 2 and is the count. Espinosa with another strikeout. Oh, he is hopefully having a really good day here. Salas, who's 0-2. Full count. Espinosa with another strikeout. He is looking imperious, but we said that about Pearson, didn't we? And then he gave up an absolute bomb. Buster Posey, who is 0 for 2. Owen wins the count. He hits it into center field. Hamilton comes in, makes a simple catch. That does it for the seventh or the top of it. We stretch one run down. Coming into the weaker part of our order as well. It's Gorel Jr. to lead us off. He's 0 for 2 today. Full count. Can he get himself on base? He cannot. He strikes out. 
and slumps back to the dugout in shame. Reese Maguire, who is one for two today. Two and one's the count. What can Maguire do? He has hit it well, but straight to right field. And that is two away. Danny Jansen, who's 0 for 2. Another full count. Can he get himself on base somehow here? Danny Jansen grounds at the first. And Sandoval needs to leave this game, doesn't he? Other than the first batter of the game, he has absolutely dominated us today. It is Ren Gifu, who is 2 for 3 today, coming in to face Espinosa. He hits it back up the middle. He is now 3 for 4 today. Lead off single. And it's Fletcher who is one for one with, I'm assuming, a couple of walks. He looks to lay down a bunt. He misses. What's happened there? It's ball four. Okay, well, that's silly. We've got two on, no one out all of a sudden for Mike Trout. Is there a worse man? Espinosa's falling to pieces. He's loaded the bases here. And are we about to find ourselves down in game one here? It's Otani. You couldn't wish for a worse man to be coming in with loaded bases after he crushed that ball last time. This time he strikes out. That's one away. And it does just give us a way out here. It's Junior Fernandez coming in. We know he sometimes takes a while to get going. He's going to face Rendon, who's 0 for 2. It's a full count. We cannot afford a walk. A strikeout would be lovely. It's a strikeout. Go on, Junior. That's two away. And can we get ourselves out of this mess? It's Santana, who's 0 for 3. Another full count. Fernandez strikes him out. That is huge. What a comeback from the Blue Jays pitching staff from loaded bases, none out, to not concede a run and keep us in this game. Wyatt Mills comes in to pitch for them now. Randall Grishock is at the plate. He is 0 for 2 today. He struck out twice. It looks like it's going to be a first pitch swing. Does he see something he likes? Oh, Randall Grishock! It's 2-2! Two -two. It's what he does. He strikes out and he hits home runs. And that was a home run. 393 feet. We're tied at two. Sandoval leaves the game. And literally one pitch later, we're tied up. Excellent stuff by Randall Grishuk. It is Billy Hamilton's turn now. He comes in. Three and one is the count. And Billy Hamilton gets himself on base. All right. He's a stealing threat. It's Bo Bichette to the plate. No one out. One on. Another first pitch swing. Bo Bichette rips it into left field. It's going to get to the fence. Hamilton's going to get to third. It's the two fastest Blue Jays on base. Hamilton's coming around to score. He is going to score. Hamilton scores from first. Bo Bichette with the RBI double. Suddenly, it's 3-2 to the Jays. Bichette's at second. No one's out. Peraza's at the plate. He's 0 for 3 today. And Peraza, it gets away from the catcher. Bo goes to third. And a really good chance here with no one out to extend the lead. What can Peraza do? He has hit it into right field and Peraza justifies his selection at second base. Weirdly enough against a right-handed pitcher. But Bichette comes in to score on the RBI single from Peraza. Vlad Jr. comes in to bat. He's one for two today. And Vlad Jr. hits into a double play. Does he run, Vlad? Well, it's fair enough. You don't want to show off, do you? Uh, unfortunately, I think Hendricks is going to be warming up in the bullpen, so everybody's going to have, we're going to have to deal with that stress, aren't we? And it's Matt Beatty who's 0 for 3 coming in. 1 and 2's the count. 2 out, no one on. And Beatty strikes out, but 3 runs in the 8th. And suddenly, we're 3 outs away from closing this thing out, and it is Liam Hendricks coming out to hopefully get it done for us against the bottom of their order. It's Upton who's 0 for 3. Come on, Hendricks. Just once, mate. Just once. Make it a nice, comfortable closeout for us. One and two's the count. There's a strikeout for Hendo. All right. One away. One Salas, who's 0 for 3. He comes in the bat. Two and two's the count. Sitting down, Hendo. Come on, mate. Come on. There's two away. They're down to their final out. That is Buster Posey, who really hasn't looked great today. He's in a slump. He's 0 for 3. And this, Hendricks. End it, mate. It's popped up. Gorel Jr.'s there. We are about to win game one of the AL CS. There it is. No, DS. ALDS. Randall Grishuk, the enigma of the Toronto Blue Jays. He, I don't know how he does it. He, stri he strikes out, looks like he's completely clueless, and then he just goes and clears the fence like it's effortless. Um, he has 25 home runs this regular season, 87 strikeouts. Uh, he has, how many hits does he have? He has 62 hits. 
of which 25 are home runs. Like, that's a ridiculous percentage. Surely, that is a ridiculous percentage. But he's a, he's a wonderful player. He's a big game player, and he's come up big for us there. So there it is. We are 1-0 up in the series. What I think we'll do is we'll do what we always do. We'll come back when there's a chance for one team to progress. So when the series is on the line, we'll come back. Hopefully, we're only going to miss one game. We'll be back in LA to, to, to sweep the series. Uh, but Blake Snell will go in game two. He has been an absolute star for us so far this season. So hopefully he'll get the job done. And then we'll, as I said, we'll be back for game three with John Fleming on the mound to close it out for us. But that's all for next time, guys. If you have enjoyed this, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. There's a link to the Discord. Go and join in all the post-game discussion. And then I'll see you next time. Take care.